Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an amazing feature of Pavli Connect, which is called Data Forwarder. So as its name suggests, it allows you to forward the data from your workflow to a different application or to a different workflow as well. Okay, so after completion of your workflow, if you want to forward the data out from your workflow and you can select particular data that you want to forward and you can forward it with the help of this feature to a different application or to the trigger application as well. Okay, so it has many ways to forward the data out from your workflow. So let me show you how you can use it inside the workflow. So guys, this is a workflow I have created to show you the demo and for the new viewers who are watching our videos for the first time, you can check our other videos where I have shown you how to reach the uh, dashboard of Pabli Connect and how you can create a workflow for yourself. And here you can see in the trigger and I have connected Pabli form builder application, which is a form building application. And here I have captured the response of the form submission like this. Okay. And after that, I used a feature which is called date time formatter of Fabli Connect and I have uh, converted the format of the date I have received from the form submission into our time zone which is Asia Kolkata and I have converted this uh, time date and time captured like this in this format okay now guys here after let's say you have created this workflow for uh, any reason and after that you want to send the data out from this particular workflow to a different workflow for any reason or to a different application for that at the last just click on the plus icon and another action step will open up from here you have to select data forwarder feature of Pabli Connect which is this select this and after selecting this it will show you these four action events so let me start with the first action event which is the forward webhook option so click on forward webhook then click on connect okay and here it is asking for the webhook url so what it is going to do it will forward the data out from your workflow to a particular webhook url address okay so that webhook url address can be of a different application or it can be of a different workflow also so let me show you the example of a different workflow so here I have created another workflow and here I have you uh, used webhook by Pabli feature to get this webhook URL and here I am going to uh, forward the data from this workflow to here in at this URL okay so guys in this workflow in the trigger I used webhook by Pabli feature of Pabli connect to get this webhook URL and we are going to forward the data from this workflow to this URL this particular webhook URL okay so to do that just you just have to copy this webhook URL from here okay and you have to paste the webhook URL here in this field okay so basically we are connecting two type of workflows here okay and so we have pasted the webhook URL here and here you can see uh, as I've copied the webhook URL here it is started showing waiting for the webhooks response okay so let's forward the data from this workflow to here okay so first of all click on save and send test request and it will show it will send a dummy data first here you can see the status is success and it has sent this dummy data dummy webhook response successfully forwarded okay so you can check the dummy data got captured here okay so, so we have captured the dummy response here now if you want to capture the actual response from your workflow you just have to click here on this recapture webhook response click on yes here and now uh, let's execute this workflow in which i have added the data forwarder so here uh, we have connected pabli form builder in the trigger that means we are receiving form submissions and that is going to trigger the workflow okay so let us uh, do the same I am going to open the form and I'm going to fill the form and we will see after execution of this workflow if we got the data forwarded out from this workflow to here. Okay. So guys, uh, let me open my form that I have. So this is a kind of form I have created and let me fill in the details here. So I am filling the details as this Harsha Yadav. This is the email address. This is the code and I'm just submitting this form. 
so you can see the form is getting submitted okay and as this form is going to be submitted we are going to capture the data of uh, out from our workflow here in this workflow okay so let me show you and here you can see in the demo workflow that I have created we got the response captured at, as, as this okay so our workflow got executed and we have captured the response here okay so the data got forwarded from my form response from my workflow to here okay so this is one way to forward the data from data forwarder from work one, one workflow to another you can use this same forward webhook option to send the data to a webhook url of a different application as well okay now let me show you another action event it provides you which is forward custom data okay so here you can see i have forwarded all the data from my form submission to here now what if i want to forward some data out from this workflow to another workflow or to another application for that you can use custom data forward custom data option just click on connect then it will ask for the webhook url again just copy this same webhook url okay paste it here like this and from here you can use this plus icon and it will start showing this label and value so in the label and value you can and create labels and put the values of these label here that you want to forward to a different workflow or to a different application okay so you can see we have received the response of the form submission here in the first step in the trigger and here i have the first name the last name the email so let's say i just want to forward the first name and the last name and i want to forward it together not uh, differently as the first name or the last name i want to forward it together and i want to forward the email also and i want to forward this uh, date also okay just these three things okay for that you can create labels i am uh, creating a label with this name uh, with this as full name this is a full name label let me add one another label this is the email label <clears throat> let me add another label this is the date label okay so I just want to forward these three things right now we have captured many things here okay right now I just want to forward these three things so let me map the values first just click here on the value field and you will find this previous steps in the drop down and the and from the first step let me map the first name and last name together so that we can get the full name okay for the email use the first step and map the email label like this and for the date I am going to use the second date time forwarder, forwarder step and from here I am using this result label okay so I just want to send these three things here at this webhook address webhook URL okay so I am clicking on recapture webhook response here click on yes and it started showing waiting again let me click on save and send test request now and let's see and you can see it started showing successfully forward, forwarded let me show you here and now you can see we got three things captured here only okay so this is how you can send custom data out from your workflow to a different workflow or to a different application okay now let me show you another action event another action event is redirect to and it will redirect the user to any web page of your choice after web after the webhook is submitted okay select redirect to click on connect let me show you how it is going to work so guys uh, let's say here let me show you we have used pably form builder in the trigger you can use anything in the trigger like you can capture the payments you are getting from any payment gateway or you can enter the data in any spreadsheet then you can capture it okay there can be many ways to capture a trigger and as and when the trigger event occurs you want that your user who is uh, doing this form submission or any trigger event will be redirected to a different web page for example if anyone is making a payment in any payment gateway you want the uh, you want that as the customer pays you and submitted the payment he will be redirected to another web page of yours you can use this uh, 
use this action step of data forwarder which is called redirect to okay so you can use it in many ways and I am also going to uh, put a reference video in the description from where you can actually see how you can redirect your users we have a video created separately for this uh, use case you can check it in the description and here in the redirect URL let me enter the address of that web page at which I want to redirect my users so I'm just copying this URL address you can see this is the landing page of pavli.com and I want to redirect my users here and in the redirect status it will show you the default status as 301 okay so generally we use this only right and just click on save and send test request here or you, you just can click on save and the data forward got applied here now let me show you the demo of this I am just going to copy this webhook URL so this is how I can show you the demo and I'm copying pasting this webhook URL here in a different tab and I'm going to put a question mark here and here I am entering name equals to Raja okay and now as I'm going to enter the trigger will be executed and our user is going to be re redirected to the page that I have entered here in this field you can see at this page okay so I am going to just put an enter here and you can see my user is redirected to pavli.com and this is the same uh, address that I have filled here in this redirect URL so this is how it is going to work right and let me show you another action event which is the last return workflow response to the source so it will returns a workflow response after completing all the steps of your workflow to the source source means to the trigger application okay let me select this first and let me show you the demo just click on connect here and guys here it is asking to enter the JSON data so you have to what will happen actually here uh, as in our use case what we are doing here we are capturing the form response okay so guys as my user is going to submit this form at the submission page or at the thank you page or uh, at this page my user is going to find some data which I am going to enter here at the last in the data forwarder whatever the data I enter here in the JSON format my user is going to see here on this page after submitting the form okay so let me show you let me enter the JSON data here so guys I have entered some data in JSON format you can see and here I am going to map the data from the first step so here I have mapped the first name and here I am going to map the email also the code okay and the date from the second step okay so this data will be visible to my user who is going to submit this form okay let me open the form first okay this is the form and this is my workflow okay and I'm going to just click on save here okay now let me fill the form so I am filling the name here as Rakesh let's say the last name is Jen the email address the code okay and I'm going to click on submit okay so you can see the form is getting submitted and now you can see in the submission page or at the thank you page we are we are uh, seeing this data the name email code and the date okay and this is the same data that we have filled in the form is visible here because we have for applied the data forwarder here like this okay so it has sent this uh, data to the source only because of this action event return workflow response to the source and let me tell you one thing more here in Pabli form builder what you have to do to see this data here you have to do one thing more go to the settings of your form and in this inside this thank you page here you have to put this tag here in the uh, square braces put show underscore webhook underscore response here okay 
so after this after filling this only it will show you this data so this thing can be different for different application but you can check it inside that application and this is how you can forward the data to the source okay to the trigger application so guys these are the four steps four ways by which you can forward the data after execution of workflow with the help of data forwarder by pably to a different workflow or to a different application